here, everyone. As you know, I'm Andrew Burdick. I have come a long way from when I first came to the side of the home as a freshman in high school. At the time, I did not think I would ever be in front of you telling you my graduation speech, but here I am. I've had lots of obstacles and struggles that tried to hold me back from succeeding in my goals, but with determination and courage, I overcame them. I still have lots to learn in this journey called life, but what I hope that you gain from seeing me is that you can do it too. And this can be you reading your speech to everyone to hear. If you don't believe in yourself, start believing, because I believe in you. I want to give some quick shout outs to some very cool, influential people who have helped me in my, helped me in my journey through school. Ms. Jimenez, I'll start with you. Thank you for taking and reading all my consultation notes for the times I needed coping skills and quick check-ins. Also, I would like to thank you for always having a smile on your face throughout the day. Your encouragement helped me a lot. And last but not least, thank you for teaching me how to shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spellers. Mrs. <laughs> um, Mothers, wow, I have known you for the longest. I don't even know if I can say anything that you don't already know. Thank you for encouraging me to keep me, encouraging me to keep going no matter how much I want to give up. Your persistence may be a pain, but it is much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Clark. Even though I have not known you for that long, I have gained things from knowing you. Thank you for checking in with me when no one else was available. I really enjoyed our conversations and I like how easy going you are. Miss Lewis. Miss <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lewis, thank you for helping me with my working English, even though sometimes I may, may not speak proper English. Also, you helping me break down my work section by section really did help me, and I thank you for that. Mr. Cobra? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over there in the corner. I really don't, I really don't like math, but you teaching me with your goofiness. I like going to math in your class. <laughs> thank you for teaching me how to carry a four period long conversation in pretty much anything, as long as you feel passionate about it. I admire that about you, and thank you. Ms. Lissette, hey coach, I want to see your PE class. I've never had so much fun and learned things in any other PE class. As you know, my favorite in your class was Ultimate Frisbee, not just because I'm bomb at it. <laughs> 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 um, but because you me to do better. Thank you for helping me to get to this point. Mr. Mike. <laughs> Wow, Mr. Mike, I will miss you the most. You have been an amazing male fitter in my life. I like that you feel passionate about us kids' future. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me what DNA stands for. And for all y'all who don't know what DNA stands for, it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. <laughs> but most of y'all, but most of all, Mr. Mike, you taught me that you can be into kid things, aka Star Wars, no matter what age. <laughs> <laughs> and also, that washing your hands with soap and water is much more beneficial than your <laughs> Last but not least, I'd really like to thank my mom, Patty Burdick. Um, you have really brought me to this point. Without you supporting me, I would not have been here. You have lots of qualities that I admire. You look at the bright side, not the darker situations, and I love you more. Um, um, well, I think that that wraps up my long speech. I hope that you've learned something from this, and if you have not, here's something to think about. This is a quote by my uh, Angelo. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Thank you. Yeah.